Pam 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 Hi guys! Today I'm gonna make another Dogman Rangu video. Also plus my character comic club video right now. So in this video it can have other opinions like and the last time I did one is in a tier list. So maybe the opinions will be different. It's not maybe. I know it will be. So also, there are going to be two other books that in the time I didn't have or it was before. That was kind of couple of collaborations and 20,000 plays under the sea. And also, yeah, I know there's going to be Kakakon Club influencers. And also Dogman and the Scarlet Shedder. That's the, the 12th Dogman book that are going to release in March of next year. So, yeah. So in fifth place, or the last one, it has to go to Dogman at least. It's not my favorite, but also it's not bad. It's meh. So basically the story is it's Chief's birthday, so they give him a fish, but then with some super brain dots, he gets evil. And also another story like Fat PD or those stuff. So yeah, this one is not that good, but also it's not bad. Like I said, it's meh. So it's in last place, and it's not the best. And in 14th place, I think it's 14th, it is Dogman Brawl of the Wild. Like this, like Dogman Unleashed, it's meh. It's kind of better. It's basically Piggy Frank, uh, pretends that Dogman robbed a bank, and then he goes to jail, but then recognizes it was fake, of course. So, it might be a good concept, but also the book is kind of boring. But still, it's meh. Like Dogman Unleashed, but Dogman Unleashed is worse. But also, like I said, it's meh. Now we're going, instead of meh, kind of good, I, I think. In, in thir and 13th place is Dogman for Whom the Ball Rolls. So basically, an, a new villain... Oh. It's not new. It appeared in the first book, but it's like a joke in this book that Dr. Scum, I think it is, that basically does some burgle balls. Yeah. And because Dogman is afraid of balls because he takes a bath. So it's basically in the chapter. But also, some people like this book because the title says balls. I would have liked it more. If they have more ball. Okay. Enough with the jokes. This one is kind of good, but still, it's not the best because we still have, like, a lot to cover. Get it? Cover? No, it, it, it was not going to be a joke, but still. Now, in 12th, I think, it's Dogman Lord of the Fleas. In my last video of tier lists, I put, like, an A tier, but I think it's, like, not as good as I thought. Like this one, I'll also put out a B. But I think this one's a B. I think. But like I was saying, I'm going to go to the fleas. I thought it was kind of good, but... uh, No, I thought it was good. I said kind of, but kind of good is normally B tier. But it, it's kind of good. It's a little bit, like, boring. Like, the, like the jokes can be funny, I think. So, but it's kind of boring still. Uh, but but still, it is like boring. But it also it also has a little of action, I think. But it's not that good. But still, it's kind of good. Not man like the other ones. So in eleventh, we're going to the spinoff series. It is Kake Comic Club collaborations. One time, I also made a short. That was me writing all of the Kaka Comic Club books. And I said the last was Kaka Comic Club on purpose. But then I just looked at the book and it was better than I actually thought. But then, mm -mm, but then we're going to get it, that in a minute. I'm, I'm not on purpose or like in the future of the video. So yeah, I think this book is like the least, the best or, you know. Of every Kaka comic club. Actually, Kaka Club is not that good. Like, it's not that good. But still, it's good. Still. The the, the franchise, I mean. But now, sticking on to the book. The book is kind 
of it's kind of boring but still i can get a little bit fun of this book it's good but it's like the worst of the kaka comic club series or spinoff you know so in 10th now we're going to the top 10 it is dog man a tale of two kitties i also put it in an a tier with like the miller the fleas but you know this book is the first time that little pd appears this book is kind of good but not as good as the others like for example like cities being like alive and you know those stuff it's like a good idea and all of the yeah it's good and i like this book but there's also others that are better so yeah this is the 10th place of you know it's good so then in ninth we're going with Cat Kid Comic Club Perspectives. So yeah, I thought this was like the second the best, but I think it's the third, just until now. But now this book is also good, better than the collaborations. I also said that in the short, but I said that Cat Kid Comic Club on purpose is worse, but we're going to to that book also in the, in some minutes. So yeah, this one can also be kind of I don't know boring, like for example in the books. But still, it, it, I think it's kind of better than the Dog Man a Tale of Two Kitties. But still, it's good. It's if I would be true, I said it was better, but I think it's like in the same place. But I'm gonna say it's better, like a little, just a tiny bit. And eighth, I think it's eighth. It is the OG, the first book. Well, the first is not the best. And also, I'm sorry, I didn't put some extra points because it's the first, I know. It's the one that started it all. But still, well, it's kind of, yeah, it's good. But there's some parts that aren't that good. Like the first chapter of the vacuum is good. The second chapter might be kind of good but then i'm just saying in chapters because this one's like four chapters like a little but the third chapter is also good and then the fourth chapter is the best of them all that's why i rank it bigger the higher higher but this book is kind of good or good i'm just gonna say it's good so yeah in seventh it is dogman Edge 22, the first, and I think until now the last, book that actually had numbers in the name, you know, Edge 22. So yeah, this, good, uh, this book is good, better than the first Dogman, it's kind of surprising. So, this one is a good book, uh, it's, some, it's like a tree, like, it's alive, I know that's kind of strange. But still, then, uh, uh, Grandpa does a disguise to look uh, like, uh, like Petey to look like, you know, it's the yeah, opposite. Just to get out of prison and, you know, do that stuff. The book is good and also had Karana Crab Cake. I also had it in Dogman from the Ball Rolls, but I forgot to mention that, so, you know. But he, like, obsessed with cupcakes. Like, in a video of another channel, I think it was, like, amazing story uh, it's a channel that reads dogman and some funny voices i think i did like uh and like it was live and i did like not a comment i then i said that i thought that jim married cupcakes because he liked it a lot and i think they reacted to that thing but continue with the book this book is good and i'm I was getting up off topic. Not off topic, I was just saying. Off. Okay, so in sixth, let me, wait a minute, let me just say sixth. Wait a minute, six, five, four, three, two, yeah, it's sixth. I was just kind of confused. It is, like I said, I was gonna talk in some minutes. It is, can't get a comic on purpose. I said, I said that this was the worst of them all, but actually it's the second best. I know that's kind of strange, but it's the second best best it's kind of interesting that a book then gets published even though i make books and they don't get published because i'm a kid like 10 years old but still and also i'm not a known youtuber because i only have 52 subscribers and yeah 
Okay, continuing, not get off topic. This book is good. It's sometimes funny. I was just getting to these pages and I remember reading this part where it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah, I can still read it. But this book is good. Yeah, really good. So, yeah. It's good. Now we're going to the top five. Okay. Now it's the last book. No, it's not. But in the Kekakama Club series, it is the OG. Yeah, I first said the third, then immediately this one. But the first one has to be the best. Not in the case with Dogma that some books are better than the first. But this one, and it's surprising that's better than the OG Dogman, but it's better than the first Dogman. Like, it's like a small book and also good. Like, everything is good about this. And if I would choose the uh, of the four books of Kaika Comic Club, the one I would choose the most is this one because it's the OG. So yeah. In fourth place, it's a book that, if people know that video, may be kind of sad. Well, that I rank. This is in fourth place. It's Dogman at Cat Kid. In my, in my tier list video, I said it was like B tier. I think people got sad if they saw that video and know Dogman. But then I got in it to read, and I didn't read it. I just got some two pages, and I liked it way more than I thought. I put it B tier, but now I put it in S tier. It's not the best, but it's still good. I I only like the book because of the action. Action. It's because this book has a lot of action. It's like a really good, um, it's really good plot. Like, basically, Dogman is going to get a movie. Uh, or, you know, it's going to get a movie. That plot already got uh, already used so many times not in dogman and other things but this book i i put it in nest here because i know this is not a tealer video but i put it in nest here because of the action if it didn't have action i would put like i don't know in b tier or like worse but this is the fourth book and yeah it's really really good now we're going to the top three now we're going to the newer books, like the newer, newer. In third place, we have Dogman Grum and Punishment. This one's really, really good. Really, like really, 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 really. So when I read the book, I really like it. Like I said, like sometimes I would say, I'll, I would show all the time to say really, but uh, you know. Editing, I don't edit that much. I only edit it. So yeah, this book is really good. And I really like it. I know I only say I really like it. And then, you know. But, like I said, a lot of times, I really like it. Now, the, the second best book or the second of you know it is dogman mothering heights this one is really really good better than grammar and punishment but i don't know i like these two books have a lot of l-o-v-e love but still this one has love also in this book but this one has like a really lot more like a lot, lot just because of the title Mothering, it already knows they're just gonna have a lot of love. So, yeah, this one, uh, book also has a little bit of violence, like in the end, but still, it is really, really good. Like, really, really. Because it's in second place, it's really, really good. But then, there's something that happened. Now, I'm just getting off topic of the dog man. Some people. Thought that Dogman series ended. Like, ended. The, they thought it was the last book. Channels made, like, fan made Dogman 11 and, you know, those stuff. And, you know. But then, in 2022, end of 2022, I don't, I don't remember, but there was something. It had a 
discovered to prepare for the, the new Dogman book called Dogman 20,000 Fleas Under the Sea. When it was confirmed this title, I know it was like a parody of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. So, yeah. When it released, or, or just when it released, I didn't get the book immediately because, you know, I, I saw people read the book. I thought it was the best book of Dogman. And I was right. In first, like I already said, it is the newest book that Dave Pilkey did. No, the coloring book doesn't count. It is Dogman 20,000 Fleas Under the Sea. This book is so good. I could just sit here and walk one minute to say it's really good. Like, really, really. Like, this book has like a story that's really good like maybe the the beginning of the story yeah this book is like there's not only one there's not there's not like a page that's bad like in unleash there was a lot but this one there's not even one i think but this book is really good like w when you go into the ending the book gets even better like the part where they go into the flying submarine, I think that yeah. well, flying things are is already what made like for example airship of Mario, but still, then they go into the airship and then they shrink and then they go in uh, to uh Peggy and then there's like a a rat type of germ like really really small like this size like it's really small and yeah this book doesn't have action like it has a little bit but still it's really good and this is my top if i like if you or any of the people like dogman unleashed i know this is my opinion i know but uh, so dogman unleashed is the worst in my opinion and Dog Man 20,000 Fleas Under the Sea is the best. And, may, no. uh, and maybe Dog, Dog Man Star Shatter is going to be even better because of the cover and also the story. But that's it. 17 minutes of me ranking all 15. No, okay, I, I don't have 15, but it's only 10. 15. Or, you know, 15. I know there's like 6, but I'm just going to say 15. 5th, no. 5th, no. This kind of thing. Okay, 15 of all these books. If you want to recap, I was not supposed to do it, but I will do a recap. 15 plays, the worst, but it's meh. Dogman Unleashed. Then 14th, Dogman Brawl of the Wild. 13th, Dogman for Whom the Ball Rolls. 12th, Dogman Lord of the Fleas. 11th, Kaka Kamiko Collaborations. 10th, Dogman Tale Two Kitties. 9, Dogman uh, Kakakamika Perspectives. 8, The Original Dogman. A A 7, Dogman Fetch 22. 6, Kakakamika Club on Purpose. 5, Ka The OG Kakakam Club. Uh, 4th is Dogman I Cat Good. 3rd is Dogman and Grandma Punishment. 2 is Mothering Heights. And the best is Dogman 20,000 Please Under the Sea. Like I said, bye. Or I didn't say bye, I just said. It's the ending. So yeah, you could watch other videos like now I do ice cream reviews like I did and it's like 30 views. So yeah, for me it's a lot even though that's a, not a lot. So yeah, that's it. You can see my new episode of Gasper uh, of AI Invasion. So yeah, that's my video. Bye! If you want to see other videos, see it. Bye!